everyone. Greetings from Chroma Campus. In this video, you will be learning about SP3D. And your trainer for today is Miss Garima. Hello everyone, I'm Garima, SP3D trainer. And here um, I'm going to share my experience first of all. So I'm uh, having almost uh, more than 10 years of experience in this oil and gas and mining industry. Um, let's begin with the course. I'm going to tell you about the course details and how we are going to proceed in the SP3D training, right? So, as you can see my screen, just give me a minute, sorry. So as you can see on the screen, this is the model uh, done by one of our student, right? Um, also, I can share you some sample project too with you all, right? So the first session we will have is our the introductory session. So you can see that this is a SP3D. When we open the SP3D from here, from the symbol, so there are too many activities we have to perform to load the area where we are working. So we are going to uh, study about these uh, template files, how we are uh, selecting these, uh, on the which basis we are selecting the template files, who is going to create this session file, what is the scope of the administrator and the user on the project, as this is a 3D software, this is a kind of similar with a, this is a bit different between uh, with the PDMS or E3D, right? So there are too many activities. What is plan? What is filter? We are going to study in detail in our introductory session where we are going to see that how we are creating filter and how we are, we are going to select. This is the hierarchy of the plan. So what the hierarchy means, how the plant is set it up, how we are selecting the system, right? Or the area where we're working. So suppose I'm working on this area. So this is how it looks like, right? So each and every tool and tab we are going to study in the introductory session. This is the whole thing we which you are watching on the screen. So we'll see that how we are setting up the screen. First of all, fall after this, we are going to open the SP3D, right? After that, we will see that when, once we open this, we have a grid system over here, here, right? So you can see the grids, how we are watching our lookout for the coordinate system. Coordinate system is really important topic at the start because each and every software we are working on the so on the coordinates. Our site is um, work, the drawings are working on the coordinates. So everything is up upon the coordinates. So coordinate is really very important. Each and every structure, each and every equipment, we are always working with the defined coordinates. Here also we can, you can see, if I compare here, so it is, this plant is also on the coordinate as per the layout. So this is 31420-28999 in the north. So let's see, this is my layout, right? You can see the layout. This is the whole project, you will also get it for the practice. So it combines everything like structures, equipment, piping, electrical, everything here. Right, so here if you see, there is Northing 28990 and 341200, right? So these, these are the things we have to set it on the screen. Then we are able to see the um, coordinate and understand how we are setting up the coordinate here in this S3, right? After this coordinate system, we are going to study about the structure, right? So structure in structure, as you can also see on the screen. So these are the sample model. Um, the pipe rack, handrails, um, grating, stair, ladder, everything we are going to study, base plates, foundations, there is no foundation, but we will study about the foundation too. So these all tabs we are going to study in the, in the structural toolbars. After the structural toolbar, we are going to study about this equipment and furnishing. In equipment and furnishing, we have different, different equipments you can see here on screen. So we'll study about the different equipments over here, how we are going to study. Um, whether it's a piping, mechanical, electrical, everyone have to go for these stages only. 
that you are you are going to set first of the coordinate system then you are setting up the structures piping mechanical electrical they are giving the inputs they are preparing the temporary models in the software and then they are going to give to the uh, structural structure itself are responsible um, people to create these structure on the basis of the loads right so each and every department has their own scope and role but definitely we have to learn each and every corner here so that we, do, we won't lack here so in equipment we are going to basically three things are there how to place the equipment how to create the equipment and how to import the equipment so these there are three things over here right after this equipment session we are going to proceed with the piping or electrical right up till here everything is same now the scope is divided between the electrical and mechanical and the piping so here you can see all the components we will see that how we are placing these all components or tabs or um the loop loops are here right also the branches if you want OLEDs. Each and every corner we are going to study slope lines, single lines, straight lines, everything we are going to study the connections. You can see the proper connection between this uh, nozzles, right? So we're going to study each and every corner in the piping with these all toolbox. After this piping, we will see about the hanger and supports. So how to uh, place the base supports or electrical. Also, we are having the supports over there how to support the electrical. I'm just going to show you the electrical tools too. So you can see here, they, these are the supports given by giving here with the T support, the whether that the support for the pipeline or here the support kind of, right? So we'll see about the support tools from this palette. Here we have the electrical tools. We have the electrical tabs also. So here electrical is not there in the model yet, but um, uh, in electrical, we will see about the cable trays. We are going to see about the duct banks, conduits. So all those things, we are components, electrical components, we will see. So each and every part of the car, electrical cables, everything we are going to see in the electrical module. So this is about the modeling one. Then we need to go to the drawing area. And here we will see the two things, basically the layouts and the isometric drawings. So these are the isometric drawings here. You can see here, there's a sample, how we are going to create the isometric drawing here. These are the material quantity, isometric forms. Everything is very clear here in this. This is a drawing extraction here in the S3. Right. Similarly, we have the layout. Layout is not a bit clear, but yes, we can see how it is extracted, how we can clean the drawing and how we can do the layouts marking this is the equipment layout here right so not going the detail because this is not the clean one this is about the drawing and reports right going back to the model then we will see about once again uh, in the end this is all about the course that how we have created the model how we are extracting the drawings. Also, we are going to see about how to extract the report. There's a material quantity report over there, how we can use these templates to uh, extract the material quantity reports. So after that, we will also see about the class checks, clashings, right? If there is any clash in the model with piping, structural, and anything is clashing, so how to resolve the clashes, how to resolve the to-do errors. So these all we are going to see in the model right so this is about the course once again in the last in the end we are going to review each and every part uh, we are going to recap every session right and the shot that we have we didn't miss anything in the in the session so that we will be in the very good confidence also you are going to practice day by day as per the session about the model once you create the model you will get the confidence that yes you can do the modeling stuff by your own this is it from my side in this demo session. If you have any query, please contact to the Institute or me direct, um, via Institute, right? So thank you all. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you like it and uh, soon we are going to meet in the session.